Hey guys, today I'm going to do a Topshop haul and it's not on fashion, it's not on any of the shoes, it's on makeup. And normally when I go into Topshop, this is kind of like the last thing that I check out after I've done the clothes. It's usually like the, the accessories and maybe there's like a whole wall of socks and I always forget about the makeup. When I went in a little while ago, it was about maybe a couple weeks ago now, there was these big signs saying sale, sale, sale everywhere and it was up to 50% off of makeup. So I went over and I started checking out a couple things like... I think my first thing that I saw was lip gloss and I tried a couple on my hand and they were really good like the pigment on them was really nice they're similar to after wearing them even I think they're kind of similar to max lip glass so I was pretty surprised by it and I'd never tried any Topshop makeup so all in all, this was a pleasant surprise. Um, I have my receipt here. I spent about 50 bucks on makeup. I had no intentions on spending that much, but I couldn't help it because all the items were about three, four dollars. I don't think I spent, I didn't spend more than five dollars and ten cents and that was on an eyeliner. So I'm going to get to this bag and kind of do some swatches for you. I bought through four lip glosses and I think their packaging is really cute. It's really basic, it's kind of simple, but for me it was girly I think. It has the polka dots on the lid up here. I don't think it's focusing, but polka dots and then it has the little tube. These were regular $10. I still have all my stickers on them, I have to take them off, but they were regular $10 and then there's a tag that said it went down to $5 and then I bought it for $3.90. This color is bubble gum and it looks like, oh look at this, I have a big huge mosquito bite that's not too so cute, but this is bubble gum. See, they're really glossy, but they're not too, like when you put them on they don't feel as sticky as when you put on the MAC lip glass. And then this is laid back. And I'll warn you, these do look kind of similar next to each other, but um, I was thinking I'm going to keep some for myself and some for my kid. But now that I, I thought about it, I've used them. I think I want to use them on myself. So that's the second one. Here's Dash. This one's not showing up too well because it is a more, it's a definite light, light pink. and look at my skin tone right now, I'm super tanned, so it's not on there. So this is would be a good nude, or actually this would probably be a really good pink on a really fair skin tone, but for me it's going to be more of like a, a nude pink right here. And then the last one is called Antique. This one is like a, kind of like a mauve plum, so right here. So I know that my swatches probably really suck, but um, I'll twist it around as much as I can so you can see. The next items that I got are lip liners and truthfully if there were more lip liners I would have got them but there was only about three in their selection that was left. Um, I got a red, a pink and like a, a plum or it's more of a neutral. The red one I'm wearing right now with um, my grandma lip tar so uh, this is one of my favorite items right now that is how much pigment the red has and I really like the pen or well you can't really see much of it any right now because I've used it right completely down but it's a little bit thicker and it just glides on it's super smooth so that's um, the color of this one is called blaze and then here's the pink one and this one is called fearless I haven't even opened this one yet so it's gonna be my first time seeing the color and this color is called ceramic. So actually, it's a, it's actually nicer than I thought it was going to be because it's a nude. It has some color. So I think this is going to be like a really nice fall time color for me. So a lot of pigment in there. This is kind of making up for my lame um, gloss swatches. But you can see there's a lot of pigment in them and they glide on. So back to these prices as well. These were all $3. Then I bought a, it's called a crayon. And this was regular $14 and it went down to $3.60. And this I couldn't help but get because the pigment on this was amazing. It's like a, a gold base right here. But it's super metallic-y so I thought this would be really good for bridal, um, like Indian bridal when I use it on my kit or even just for myself when I want a really nice base um, underneath some color to make the uh, color pop a little bit more. So this I couldn't help and it's like a nice little glide up crayon and that one is in, I think, it, oh Sun Shower is the name and then, ooh I just got gloss in my hair 
And then I also got this pencil that is called Pewter. And it's like another crayon style um, little pencil. And yeah, this just glides on. I just can't believe how smooth they go on. And it's like a metallic gray. Obviously the color says it all. It's pewter. This is going to be a really nice base for a smoky eye. And I just thought, well, for, I think this was, it says five bucks on it, but this was three dollars and thirty cents. I also got another gold pencil. That's weird. I thought I got one or the other. Um, okay, so I got a crayon, which was uh, this gold crayon. And then this one is also called crayon. But I'm pretty sure this was like a pencil style, so let's see. Well, I think when I was buying one, I was thinking one was going to be for myself, one was going to be for my kit. So this is definitely a little bit different. It has the pencil, same thing as the pewter. Um, it's like a little pencil thing like that. And then this is also a gold base, but it was much lighter uh, right here. So versus the other one, I think it's just, yeah. Just different styles. The last thing that I bought was this Topshop liner, and it's literally like a black gel liner in a little pot. It reminded me of what I use from MAC, like their Black Track uh, pots or gel. This was $5.10, the most that I paid for any items that I bought here. So um, when I touched it in the store, it seemed like the tester, I didn't mess up any new ones. It was really um, smooth and the pigment was really there. So I'm gonna give this one a whirl because I'm all about black liners, you guys know that. And yeah, that is pretty much my Topshop haul. I think my favorites obviously are the gloss. They're really easy to wear. I'm a gloss girl, but I'm really loving the lip liners. The red and the pink uh, Fearless are definitely my favorites from the whole, the whole shopping trip. I wanted to show you a little closer up the difference between the golds because I had to make myself feel better. This one's a little bit lighter and this one's a little bit darker. So there's a little bit of a difference there. I'll make use of them somehow. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like this haul. If you guys are Topshop fanatics with the makeup or clothes or any of that, leave it in the comments below because I'd love to know what you guys are buying or what products you love. Because I think that I will definitely be getting more in the future. When I was ringing up or when I was being uh, rung up at the till, the guy said that, um, well, we were talking and he said they were really, I told him that I thought they were really like MAC Cosmetics and he said that they were actually made by the same companies, the Estee Lauder company. So that's super cool, super cheap, and I'm always into finding um, a cheaper alternative. That's what we do here on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I just wanted to film this little quick tidbit at the end and show you just how long wearing these are. I just tried to wash them off and they didn't come off. Obviously I'm going to have to use maybe like an oil based cleanser now, but that's pretty good for um, quality for such an inexpensive liner. So.